Well, hello and welcome. Today we're having a closer look at the Pilot Metropolitan. I have three of them here that we'll have a closer look at. I have more of them, um, but these are the three that I'm using at the moment. And the black one, this is the one I bought probably, uh, I have the longest of them. It's one of the, I think one of the first pens that I bought when I really started um, collecting fountain pens. I always had a few that I've used over the years. Um, but um, yeah, this, this one I've had quite a while. I think I bought this one at the same time, more or less, I bought a Lamy Safari and this one. And I've just used this pen um, so much that, and it's such a great pen, I ended up buying quite a few others. Even the, the ballpoint pens, I'm not a, um, yeah, I, I enjoy any, any pen, um, you know, it just depends on what you need it for, right? Sometimes you just need a, uh, a ballpoint pen. And of all the ballpoint pens that I have, the Pilot Metropolitan is just by far the better one. So, I'm not in my usual chair today. I have been, uh, sort of every, every time I turn around, my work companion takes my chair. So Cosmo, as you see, is working very hard, keeping my chair warm, I guess. So every time I get up and I turn around, he just magically appears in my chair. So it's just the way it is. Let me know if you have any of these. Um, People seem to sometimes have sort of polarized opinions about these pens. Some people really love them, some people don't like them that much. So what we'll do is we'll take a closer look at them. Uh, we'll do writing samples. Um, I've got three different inks in them, well, diamine inks, so we'll, but three different colors. We'll have a closer look at the, at the inks as well. And we'll talk about, uh, you know, what's great about these pens and maybe what's not so great about them. Oh, and thank you for supporting my channel. I've had some nice growth over the last month or two. I really appreciate the support. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. I, I really appreciate it. Okay, let's have a closer look. All right, let's have a closer look at the Violet Metropolitan. I have three of them here. And like I said, the black one was the one that I purchased first. Now these pens come in a variety of colors and as you can see uh, these are the ones that I have. I also have a purple one or my wife has a purple one which um, she really likes. I like color matching my inks with my pens so I usually have a red ink with my red pen and then with these, this one um, I would use like uh, what I would call earth tone colors and I'll show you what I have in here but let's just have a closer look at the pen I think actually sorry I actually think we can we can use this one so this is a metal pen that's the first thing to notice about it which gives it a nice weight and it also has a very solid feel when you pick up this pen it feels very solid, it's not flimsy, um, it feels very premium. We have, all of them have this band on the uh, on the barrel with a pattern, which I think is quite fun and uh, gives it a very modern appeal. Even the black one that I have, um, it's very subtle, but it's there and it looks really nice. The, on the cap we can see that there's branding, it says Pilot Japan and on the clip it says Japan and if we turn it over Pilot. The, just looking at the cap first, the clip on the spin is very sturdy it's not going anywhere but it's not too tight I, I have some pins where the clip is so tight that it's not really usable this is nice and tight but very functional um, I like the sort of minimalistic design on it I don't like a clip that's too fancy then has too much going so this is really nice I it's sort of understated and that works for me I, I can appreciate that Finial, nothing at the top, nothing at the bottom, except that this one you can see see some wear, and this is just 
you know, how much I've been using this pen. And I suspect that maybe sometimes I rub the pen on my um, on my desk. It's it's possible. I haven't seen this on any of my other pens, so I, I don't really know these these ones as you can see. And uh, and I use them quite a bit as well. So nothing there. So I don't think this is a um, a problem with these pens. I think it's just the way that I've been using or abusing this one. Okay. It's a snap cap and it's got a very satisfying click so it caps very nicely very tight no problems no issues there when we uncap it this section um, that's a black plastic which is quite comfortable I have to say there's a bit of a step moving from the section to the barrel and I guess for some people that might seem to be quite a big step um, I don't find it uncomfortable in, in any way in fact the way that I hold my pen I think it just provides extra grip for me um, I don't know if anybody else has any opinions about the step there uh, let me know what you think about that is, is that too big is it in the way I know some pens um, you have almost no step there at all and that can be nice too. I, I like a larger uh, section on a pen, um, but this, this really works. I don't have any issues with it. The nib would be just your standard steel pilot nib. It's quite nice. I like that these, it's got a bit of a pattern there. These are all medium nibs, of course, and for these Japanese pens, a medium is more like a medium fine. Uh, it's, it's finer than a typical Western medium, like a, like a Parker or a Schaefer would be, uh, it would produce, the medium would give you a much broader line than these. I find actually that the medium on these pens are really nice because it's that perfect in-between and especially for a beginner pen um, it's broad enough that you can enjoy the ink if you want to see some shading on the ink you, you can easily see it still with this line but um, it's also fine enough that you can you know you can focus on your handwriting and and enjoy a finer line if that's you know what you're into as far as the cartridges it's a cartridge converter pen I have the I think this is the con 40 converter in this one which I know a lot of people don't like I find it to be you know perfectly okay I don't have any issues with it it's not a huge converter but it holds enough ink and it it refills so easily so I don't have any issues there um, this one let's see what I have in here uh, okay, so this is your very typical squeeze converter. I think this is actually what comes with the pen. Pilot made in Japan. Yes, this is actually what comes with the pen. Again, these don't hold a huge amount of ink, but they it's so easy to refill and um, also makes it really easy to clean the pen. So I do like those. I always thought that the one thing I would have appreciated is if this... Um, well, this is, this is like a rubber, but if this was transparent and you could see how much ink you have in there, that would be nice. And then I got a pen, I'm not sure which one, but I did get one with a transparent, which I guess is the more of a plastic uh, bladder. And I thought that was going to solve the problem, but it didn't because the ink just really stuck to the sides on the inside and you couldn't see how much ink was in there anyway. And when I refilled this one, I couldn't find another converter for it. So this is actually a Zhenhao converter. How does it fit in here? I don't know. I just had a bunch of converters and I just tried them all. And um, I was actually very surprised that this one fit. Because I don't think they're supposed to fit. But um, it's in there pretty tight. I don't have any issues with it. So it works.
So these are really beautiful pins. Um, I mean, traditional, very traditional cigar shape, but also nice and modern. A um, little bit of fun. I think it's a it's it's a very nice in between. You know, if you the black pin, I think this is like a very classic um, design and shape and color as well. So this could you know fit very well into a sort of a professional setting or a meeting or something and these are just really nice fun colors and so there's so much variety here uh, it's a lot like the Lomi Safari you get so many different ones you can uh, you really can't just have one so bolt quality on these pins I think is absolutely excellent for the price point the, these are entry-level pins they essentially cheaper than the Lamy Safari um, and for what you're paying you get a metal pin with good weight absolutely solid construction um, the nibs I might repeat myself but I find the nibs on these pins to be very very consistent whether if I close my eyes while writing with these pins and I didn't know which one I picked up I, I wouldn't be able to tell from the writing experience because these nibs are so similar in the writing experience that um, yes, it's just just very consistent, and uh, that's something I can really appreciate. Some other pen brands are not that consistent, and you just don't always know what you're going to get when you buy one of the pens. So, let's let's do a writing sample. For the writing sample, I'll be using my Rodia dot pad. It's just a very fountain pen friendly fountain pen friendly reliable uh, paper and it's just uh, so much fun to use right let's have a little fun with these pins and test them out so this is the pilot metropolitan And this is a medium nib. The ink in the spin is diamine. Onyx black. The spin is plenty wet as you can see, uh, you might be able to tell that it's just incredibly smooth in the way that it writes, uh, so comfortable. And there we go, Onyx Black Diamine, obviously also Pilot Metropolitan but And the ink in this one. I wonder if you can guess which red this is. Red Dragon. Red Dragon is a lovely red ink. I absolutely love it. When I when I tried it out, I had to get a decent bottle of ink, and so I bought the large one, and it's just such a lovely red, very vibrant, very saturated, very bright, but um, still very um, can I say professional. It's not a it's not a strange red if that makes any sense. It's just a lovely color to use. Lovely red. And then this one. Obviously also Pilot Metropolitan, but I 
don't know if you can tell, but the, the consistency of these nibs is just so uh, it's just so nice. They're just you know providing a really consistent um, experience, and the ink. Wonder if you can guess this one. Die mine. Cherry sunburst. This is a nice sweet ink. It's a lovely color. Uh, it's it reminds me of the color of like a like a, a reddish clay, and uh, that's just a. It just has a lot of, you know, it's a very flat color. It doesn't have a lot of shading, but you know, for how flat it is, it's a very enjoyable color. There you go. So in the end, what can I say about these pens? They are lovely to use. Um, I think for a starter pen, I would argue that these are one of the best, if not the best starter fountain pen that you can buy. For the price that you pay, you get absolutely excellent bold quality. It's a beautiful pen. It's, it's a... Um, it's a really nice pen to give as a gift if you don't want to break the bank if you're on a budget because for what you pay you get something that's really beautiful it looks nice it feels nice and it provides a really consistent lovely writing experience um, I can imagine that I would probably get more of these I would probably want all of the color variations in time um, I usually have a few pens inked up uh, maybe six or seven at a time and it's not a problem for me to have three of them inked up at the same time because I um, I use them you know I absolutely use them and I re-ink them so they're not like some of my other pens that would sit in a drawer until it goes dry or anything like that so anything that I could any cons to these pens I, I really cannot think of anything that I can fault these pens on you know um, from a design point of view maybe a, a smaller step would have been nice for some people but you know that's like that's just preference I, I I really can't find anything to fault these pens on they they're really good if you don't have one I really think you should get one I, I can absolutely recommend them so thank you everyone uh, please do subscribe to the channel i appreciate it leave a comment i'd love to hear if you have any of these and what your writing experience is like have a great week see you next time